it is for us to understand. Can you all hear me? I was muted. Can you all? It, 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 is, it is for us as children of the Lord Jesus Christ to understand that, my God Almighty, you must, my God Almighty, let me teach you all something. As a child of the Most High God, wherever you go and worship, wherever you lodge, to say, my God, this is where I'm going to pay my tithes. This is where I'm going to do this. This is where I'm going to do that. This is where I'm going to, and this is where my, this is my church. This is whatever. Name it and so forth and so forth. You must pray and ask the Lord to help you to know your leader spiritually. You're speaking the truth, woman of God. Speak. I said, you must pray and say, God, I want to know my pastor. I want to know my bishop. I want to know whoever is over me. I want to know. Show me them spiritually what, what their motive is about. If they're about the love of Christ or they're about the, the love of man's money. Right. Don't you all hear what I'm saying? Yes. That's right. You see, people of God. These things are very important because guess what? It's your life. It is your life. Amen. Yeah. Right. It is your life. And if you, my God Almighty, choose to go to go somewhere, you must know the person that is over you. Know that they are watching over you. They are praying for you all. Yes. Yeah. It's the truth. Yeah. And if they are yeah. not praying, if they are not praying for you all, guess what? The whole congregation is in danger. They, they, they guess right. what? You all are in danger. They only leave. Listen this. Listen this. You are in danger so much they only left your life for the doctor or for the marg, for the the this the, 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 the cemetery. Name it. Because yeah. what? They're gonna have you have some of you sick, and after be going to doctor and then the doctor gonna some of these wicked doctors, the only doctors that is take that is caring for God's people are the ones them that know Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen. The ones them that don't know Jesus Christ, God helps some of you that put your trust in them. That's true. Yes, that is so true. When yeah. Mama, when Mama Phyllis was in the hospital, it was it last year or year before last? Catch me up, sister. Last again. December. Last, last de December. Last December. Yes. Last December, and we and, and we, you know we cramp and paralyzed that no more hospital for in the name of Jesus Christ. No more. No more. And I speak it over you all. Yamasha, Makusha, Terry Candle was under. This time of the year, we cramp and paralyze those kind of sickness. No hospital sickness. None. We bind it up in Jesus' name. No devil bringing no sickness for anyone to go in the hospital. It's only a pity, my God Almighty, Mama Jennifer, after being it. But I guarantee you, I tell you something. When Mama Jennifer come out of this hospital, I'm going to be on top of her so much in the realm of the spirit that... No Amen. devil from the pit of hell is going to overpower her. I'm, I'm serious about it. I am so serious. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am so serious. I am so serious. She must be delivered and set free in Jesus' name. I'm going to be on top of it. I'm going to be on top of, top of it. She, she will not go back in no hospital. And they will not keep her in there until no thanksgiving and whenever. I can't slurp. I can't slurp, my God. I command her to be discharged out of that place in Jesus' name. I'm telling you, people of God, this is no joke thing. People that God put my God Almighty in the midst of people, people must take up their, their responsibility. If you have if you claim you have a church and you have people come, you have a building and people come in there to my God Almighty, hallelujah, worship and you know to whatever. My God, be the person to see over these people, pray for them constantly and sincerely. That's what it's supposed to be constantly and sincerely. Amen. Yes. This is no joke thing. 
can't leave up people for demons to beat up on them and all kind of things to happen to them. And then at the end of the day, you're talking, you go on the pulpit standing up and say, oh, you know, we have prayed so much for her, but you know, God knows what's best. The Lord give it and the Lord take it. Shut up your mouth, you is Job. This is what they talk over people when people die. I don't play with death. I don't mean death is not friend. I don't I don't play for death to come in and take over. If 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 God don't give that authority. People must live and live out their life. It is for it is for leaders to take their stand over the life of God's people. Many leaders, my God Almighty, after church when they go home, they take home the money with them and counting it, acting like what this mean man name. Let me come, you all catch me. What this man, this man arm um, that they bring in the Christmas movie called Mrs. Stooge. The, the Grinch. Yes. Mr. Right. Mr. Stooge, a uh, Scooge, which name is Mr. Stooge? Mr. Yes. Stooge. They, they, many, many leaders. This is Mr. what they are. Scrooge. They are like Miss who? Mr. Scrooge. Mr. Scrooge. Scrooge. Mr. Scrooge. Help me, our people. I call him some name sometime. Oh, God help me. Scrooge with a C. Mr. Scrooge. Mr. Scrooge. Some leaders are like that, honey. I wonder how much those, I wonder how much we have today because remember we have we have that house over there to, to we don't pay the mortgage for that house yet and and you know we don't pay the mortgage on that car yet and we don't this and we don't that and then, and then when the bills to pay in the church they pressure God's people to pay it because they use the money to live big God help those people help them Jesus Christ help them Jesus help them Jesus yes Lord help them Father. Whenever there's a situation and somebody is hungry and don't have a night dinner, they can't stretch forth their hands to help. They're saying, oh, this, that, and the other. Come on, people. I've got, I, I'm asking God to bless this ministry. I don't know about nobody. But my yeah. aim, my yeah, aim, yeah, and, yeah, and if, yeah, I, if yeah. I have to speak on this just for a little while, please, people, allow me to speak. I'm asking God to bless this ministry so that we can get to a place to help. I want to be here, people. To help people. To help yes, people. Yes. yes, Lord. I don't wait on the ministry to do that. I use my very own. I empty out my piggy bank and help. I want if you all hear me. Yes. Amen. Yes. Because you know what happened? Practice begins in the home. Yes, amen. And God will not trust you if he can't trust you with the little. He's not going to trust you with the big. No. Don't ever hear what I'm saying. And many people, Amen. many people, the way they are going out. I'm telling you, it's, it's sad. It's a sad story. I, wa I wonder how many people on the line sleeping. I wonder if how many people on the line listening to what I'm saying. It is so sad. It must be the love of Christ. You see, if you, if you as a leader can't be like the word of God said in... If you as a leader cannot be like the word of God said in Philippians 2 verses 3, that you must esteem others more than yourself. If you're a leader, you cannot esteem others more than yourself. Something is wrong. You didn't call by God. Talk to me. Amen. If you as a leader... Can't look, look, no, look, no, people of God, listen to this. And if, and you see, many of us read the Bible, but we turn it upside down and we call WM and we call MW. Now, what I'm trying to say, if you look and see with Jesus, while he was there, my God Almighty, with the, the, all this multitude of people, the 5,000, the 7,000, how much people were there, and while he was there, people of God, now he's the one there that is. Are 23 attendees in this conference. He's the one that was teaching. You're going to tell me that he wasn't thirsty and hungry. He wasn't. I want to tell you, he wasn't, you know, he wasn't thirsty and hungry, you know, people of God. Because he said, my meat is to do the will of God. And that's what I becomes today during the time when I'm on this line. I don't thirsty, I don't drink. So if you see me in the sanctuary and I don't, I'm not drinking water and I'm not, I, I'm not thirsty, I'm okay. I'm okay. But we all understand what I'm saying. The, the, spirit yes, of God yes. feel, the Spirit of God fill me. I'm okay. 
Jesus was there and instead of him looking for himself or even the very this, this he said oh you all must be hungry go and get something to eat then they turned to him and said but master the little money that we have there's no shop around and we don't the little money that we have cannot do anything he said and then a little boy hear the conversation he run up master i have five five loaves and two fishes and he said oh here's a little boy that have five loaves and two said he have five loaves and two fishes i can imagine i'm gonna tell you all something and this is no joke thing the the the, 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 the disciples them around him was laughing because the little boy was just it's like they see it as a joke. I want to all get it. Because in the midst of many of us, we would see it like a joke. We would say, what five bread and two, five loaf and two fishes can do for a whole full church of people. So right there, they were laughing. But Jesus said to, Jesus said to the disciples, get the people and put them down in, in group, 50-50 group, whichever way. Tell them to sit in groups. And he lift those bread and fishes and he pray over them and what it multiply. He was more about for them to eat than for him to eat. Come on, talk to me. Amen. Yes, Jesus. The Bible didn't tell us that Jesus sit down and eat too. He said he feed the multitude. Come on, talk to me. Amen. Yes. Yeah. I'm not yeah. saying that I, if I'm in the midst of a gathering and we're you know having a little fellowship and whatever i'm not gonna sit and eat when it's time for me to eat no I, i'm not gonna say that i'm not saying that i want you all to understand me people i am not saying that all i'm saying is that jesus was more care you see he showed us example that we are to be more care for his people than ourselves yes amen and many leaders, many people don't do that. And when people find people that care for people, care for them and care for people, they will treat them the worst. They won't even think if they exist. They won't even think, I wonder how this woman eat or drink. They won't even think, I wonder how, how this woman pay her bills. And they won't even think, I wonder how this woman go about daily doing whatever she's doing. They won't even think that. They will more think about the one that is treating them like nobody and don't remember them. Talk to me. Many people are like that. But all I'm saying, people of God, I just want for people not to look at me to say, oh, it is you that I'm doing for. Now. Uh -huh. Want to buy those long, tall, how much inches shoes. Me, as to me, I don't even to want to wear no long heel again. Them tall inches shoes. I'm not interested in them anymore. I might, once in a while, I might put on one or two, but like to see me, for, for a person like me, I have no business into tall heel. I would be, be a sucker for punishment, killing myself. Because if I have to do deliverance, you can imagine me into the house of God, moving around into a tall heel boat, and my knee them cracking like they want to give way like tired donkey, and I'm there pretending. <laughs> can you imagine people of God? I'm there, my knee, give it away. My, my knee, give, you ever see those donkeys, they're so tired that they just go down with the load on their back? You ever see those? All <laughs> the camels, them. All the, cam, the camels, them, you see, do those things. Just imagine me in these tall issues because fashion and I, you know, I'm so stush and I'm so much and, the, and in these tall issues and I'm buying the best and I'm buying the most expensive and the most. Just imagine me in them. And while I'm there, my God Almighty doing deliverance, all of a sudden, you all just see me go down on my knee. Oh! I'm not into those things. All I'm saying is that people of God, I'm about, I'm, I'm all for people. But guess what? God give me the wisdom to know the mean, disgusting ones them. Yes, amen. Because yes. you can be for people and people can take the most advantage of you. You can, they can, they, they can just run in. It's all about them. It's all yeah, about them sure. to get. All about them to get. 